you know, when you begin to look at it, you see, you are not alone. The Father have never left you alone. The very moment you are left alone, you are gone. So you are not alone. The reason why you see many people say today, oh, I'm sick, oh, I'm sick. where is your help? Are you a healer? When you are close to God, nothing will be possible to Sickness have no right over you. Marital problems have no right over you. One thing you have to note is that always you must remember that someone died for you. Amen. Hallelujah. While you are sitting, take your Bible and say, this is my Bible. Say, this is my Bible. Take your Bible while you are seated. Lift it and put it on your chest. Say, this is my Bible. Lift it up, put it on your chest. And say, this is my Bible. Say, Holy Father, let your word that I'm holding in my hands permeate into my bones into my marrow, into every organ, into every system in my body, and become me, so that I become your father. Grant me wisdom, the grace to understand your word. Father, grant unto me that I deviate not from your word. Grant me the grace to obey your word, so that when men sees me, they will say, thank God, thank you, Father, for the life of this one. I thank you, Lord, for the life of this one. I thank you, Lord, for the life of Isaka. I thank you, Lord, for the life of these ones. I thank you, Lord, for the life of Isaka. When men sees me, they give you thanks. When men sees me, they give you thanks. When men sees me, they give you thanks. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And amen. People of God, according to your word, so shall it be. From this day, when men see you, they will thank your God. They will appreciate God for your life. That is why I say, go to seven people and thank God for their life. You know why? When men begin to thank God for your life, which means there's something different in you. They will see that living helper in you. A living helper, remember our Lord Jesus Christ said that it is important that I go so that the comforter will come. He said, it is important I go so that the comforter will come, and when he come, he will lead us to the accurate knowledge of the truth. Praise the Lord. And the Bible made us to understand that our Lord Jesus Christ blessed his disciples and sent them in tools. The Bible says, and he sent them in tools. Praise the Lord. He sent them in tools. So, helper. Helper. You need a helper. Without helper, you are finished. Praise the Lord. In the book of Genesis, take your Bible quickly. Let us go through. In the book of Genesis, chapter number... Chapter number 2, Genesis chapter 2, verse number 18. Take your Bible. Genesis chapter, Genesis chapter number 2. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter number 2. When you look at Genesis chapter number 2, you realize that there is something there. Hallelujah. Open verse number 18. Genesis Two, verse 18. And the Lord God said, It is not good that men should be alone. I will make him a helper comparable to him. Out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every bird of the air and brought them to Adam to see what he would call them. And whatever Adam called each living creature, that was its name. So Adam gave names to all cattle, 
to the birds of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a helper comparable to him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh in its place. Then the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, he made into a woman, and he brought her to the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you look at, if you look at verse number 24, it says, Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. They shall be what? One flesh. They shall be one flesh. Praise the Lord. A helpmate, a helper. Remember also in the book of Exodus, we are made to understand when the father called Moses, he said to Moses, I will send you to Pharaoh. I will send you to Pharaoh. And Moses said, listen, I don't know how to speak. I'm a stammerer. He said, don't worry. He said, but I'm a stammerer. Why don't you send my brother? He said, the first person that come to Moses lives was his brother. He said, why don't you send my brother? He's eloquent. He is eloquent. He's a good speaker. Why don't you send him, not me? Then the father said, okay, I've had you clear. I have chosen you. I'm sending you, and I'm sending your brother with you. Your brother will be your prophet, and you will be a god unto Pharaoh. How many? Two. Two. So, people of God, when you look at the scripture, you realize God never allowed man to be alone. And the world system has adopted that. Even in the military, they never send one person, they always send two. Our Lord Jesus Christ came and said, I'm going to send you. He said, and he blessed them and sent them in twos. He sent them in twos. Furthermore, he said, it is important that I go so that the comforter will come. Do not step out of this house. Do not go about the city. Do not go about the nations. Wait until your helper come. Wait until your helper come, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. The helper. So, people of God, you can never be alone. Many of us every day, we become a loner. We become, we want to remain alone. No, you can never be alone. So, that is why when you are confronted with situation, never you say, I'm alone. Never you say, I'm alone. The moment you began to use the word, I'm alone, is only me and my family. Is is not only you. You're not alone. Some say, "Oh, my husband have died, and I'm left alone. My wife have died, I'm left alone. All my children are married, I'm left alone. All this is happening, and no, stop using that word. You are not alone. The comforter is with you. Your helper is with you. Your comforter is with you." Your soulmate is with you. The Father is with you. The Son is with you. The Holy Spirit is with you. You are not alone. Look at your neighbor on your left and say, you are not alone. Your neighbor on your right say, I'm not, you are not alone. And say to viewers all over the world, you are not alone. We are with you. And go ahead and do that. 
Look at your neighbor on your left, your neighbor on your right, and say, you are not alone. Whenever you look at yourself and say, I'm alone. There are people today, they lost their boyfriend or their parents and begin to say, I'm alone. Oh, I'm alone. I've lost my parents. I've lost this. I'm alone. No, don't use that word. The words that come out of our mouth is very important because words are very efficacious. Praise the Lord. Words are very efficacious. Oh, I'm alone. I'm alone. No one else beside me. I'm alone. Praise the Lord. Can we go to Hebrew chapter number 13? I'm coming back there. Go to Hebrew 13. Go to Hebrew 13, verse number 6. Yeah, do you see that? He said, the Lord is with me. I am not alone. You see that? I'm not alone. He says, so that we may boldly say the Lord is my helper. I will not fear what man should do unto me. The Lord is my helper. The Lord is my comforter. The Lord is my provider. The Lord is my healer, Jehovah. The Lord is my healer, Jehovah Raphael. Yahweh is with me. Yeshua is with me. It's in me. It's for me. You know, when you begin to look at it, you see, you are not alone. The Father has never left you alone. The very moment you are left alone, you are gone. So you are not alone. The reason why you see many people say today, oh, I'm sick. Oh, I'm sick. Where is your helper? You are a healer. You are a healer. You are not sick. It's only because you do not realize who is with you. You do not realize who is with you. You can boldly say, the Lord is my helper. The Lord is my comforter. Remember the Lord Jesus Christ said, I will be with you. He never said you will be alone. He said, I will be with you. Even to the close of age, I will be with you. Praise the Lord. Go to the Mark Gospel chapter 16. The Mark Gospel chapter 16. And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons, they will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. You hear know that? They will lay hands on the sick, and they will do what? They will recover. So he commissioned you to go. And when he said go, he said, I will be with you when you go there. I will be with you. So that's why you can boldly say, the Lord is my helper. The Lord is my comforter. I am not alone. And you will never be alone. Praise the Lord. Many people want to kill themselves today because their wife left them. Because their husband left them. Because their children left them. Because their girlfriend left them. Because they are not... I mean... So many things, or because they, 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 they terminate their job. Because they terminate their job. They begin to murmur against God. You are not alone. You are not alone. The Lord is with you. Can I hear you say, the Lord is with me? The Lord is with you. The Lord that is with you will be seen through you. And in you. You don't have to look at you and see God in you. They have to look at you and see God in you. And look, our father, when he created man, he said, it is important. I can see how lonely man is. Everything I've created have a helper. But man is alone. Let me give me help, man. When he made Adam to sleep, and he brought out a woman, and he named him Eve. He named her Eve. So man was not alone from the beginning. And you can never be alone. 
So in this month of July, I want you to know that God, who has named this month a month of perfection, has perfected every error in your life. Because this is one mistake men make today. Every time you know I'm alone. If I'm not alone, as you mean I'm not alone, you're not alone. You're not alone. Oh, my mother have died, my father have died, I'm alone. I'm left alone. No, you are not alone. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. Praise the Lord. Everything in life may fail you, but God will never fail you. Everyone may fail you, but God never fail you. Everyone might leave you, but the Lord never leave you. Your father might have forsaken you. Your father does not want to hear about you. I want to tell you, be of good cheer. The Lord is with you. Your mother might have forsaken you and thrown you away. Be of good cheer. The Lord is with you. Your husband might have forsaken you. Be of good cheer. The Lord is with you. Your boss might have fired you. Be of good cheer. The Lord is with you. Why? You are not alone. Tell your neighbor, I am not alone. Announce that your neighbor. Say, I am not alone. And I will never be alone. Many might have tried everything they do to frustrate you, but be courageous, you are not alone. Be courageous, you are not alone. The Lord is with you. And if the Lord is with you, means there is hope. He said, I know the plan I have for you. A very comfortable and perfect plan to give you a hope and a future. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. I have a good plan for you. I have a good thought about you. Why? I know you. Why you are still there. I know you. I thought much before I bring you into the world to represent me. You are not alone. Why do you disturb yourself every day? I want seven people to come out from the church. Just stand up. Those of you that always say, you know, I'm alone. Oh, nobody to help me. No one. Who has ever said that? Who are the people saying that? Just stand up. Just stand up. Just stand up. If you know you've been saying that word, and I will tell you who you are and what you've been going through. Are you there? Can no one ever say that word? We never say that word. Wow. Wow. I will say congratulations to every one of us. No one has ever said that. Is there anyone who said they have said that? Yes. Can you put them front? I want to see them from the camera, please. Come forward. I want you to come forward. Those of you that have said that word, come forward. Just come forward. Okay, brother, is it only this brother I can see? I've not seen the rest people. I've not seen the rest people. From the camera, from the table, please. Look at them. I still see many more that are still there. Where are the rest? I see more. I see more. I see more. Okay, let me start with these three people I can see standing right now. Let me look at yourself. Each and every one of you is undergoing the same problem. Because every minute, your life does not go forward because of your work. The reason why sickness holds you down is because you don't believe that you're already healed. The reason why enemy hold you down is because you don't believe you are bigger than the enemies. Praise the Lord. If you look at all of you that are standing there, you are undergoing one problem, the same problem. Poverty. Poverty. That's number one. 
Because that word I'm alone have subjected you to poverty. They subjected you to evil dreams. Every day is evil dream. You see that you see a late one or whatever harming you or something happening. Demonic manipulations. Because you have already, you fix your heart. You turn your heart, the devil has made you to believe that you are alone. There's no one to help you. No one to help you. You are alone. Praise the Lord. Now, if any one of you, who has a Bible in the church, please take your Bible. Don't lift your Bible up. I want one person to get the Bible. Mama, get your Bible. Get your Bible. Just go to one, go to first one. Go to the first one. And then let the first one open her hand. And then you, you try to give her the Bible. Give her the Bible. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. I want, as they were standing, to write their names for me. I'm going to give them the Bible myself on Sunday. I'm going to give them Bible myself on Sunday. I want to prove something today. I'm going to continue with the same message. Because if you look at the sister there, problem. The brother there, problem. The brother there, problem. The sister there, problem. What is the problem? They're all centered in one place, their word. What come out of their lips? What come out of their lips? How do you say you are Lord? Where is God in your life? Where is Christ? Where is Christ? Where is Christ? Can you say you're alone? So please, people of God, I want you to change that word today. And I want to tell four of you that are standing there, where are the rest people? Come out before I finish what I want to do. Because always this is what you say. Yeah, you are punishing me because I'm alone. You are doing it because I'm alone. Oh, because I'm alone. You know I'm alone. Yes, if I'm not alone. I'm alone. Praise the Lord. This is the problem we have. There are many of you still sitting down there. You've been using that word. You know I'm alone. It's only me. How do you use that word to say it's only you? Not only you. Elijah used that word. When Elijah came out, he ran away from Jezebel. When Jezebel said, I will destroy you. What you have done to those prophets, I will do it to you. Elijah ran. Yes, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you for coming out. There are still more there. There are still more. Thank you for coming out. Elijah said, let me run because it's only me left. Only me. When Elijah was running around, he, ran, he got tired. He went to the brook. The brook began to feed him. Praise the Lord. The brook began to feed him. He was fed by the brook. God fed him there. Was he alone? If it was her own, where is the brook? Why brook is, why did he feed for, by the brook? And when the brook got dried, the father sent 11. 11 bring food for him. Then when he woke up, the father asked him, where are you going? He said, no, I'm running away from this wicked woman. She has killed all the prophets, only me left. The father said to him, not only you. I have killed 50 prophets. Servants of mine, they are there. You are not alone. So today I come to announce to you, you are not alone. Anyone that is oppressing you, thinking you are alone, has made the greatest mistake. Has made the greatest mistake. Praise the Lord. Anyone that is oppressing you has made the greatest mistake. I want seven of you there to walk to the messy land. Or six of you there, seven of you there to go to the messy land. Pass through the messy land, pick something there and come back to where you're standing. Clear. 
pick something there and come back. All of you. I believe you have been blessed by this teaching series by Prophet Isaka. For more information, call us on plus two seven eight eight four nine nine three nine seven plus two seven eight four 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 seven zero zero two zero one one four nine three zero five three one. God bless you.